time you die. Okay, so we're back. Um, <laughs> I'm still trying to beat what I think is just a regular enemy. I don't think yeah, this is this the boss. So we got Caleb cracking jokes despite being almost dead. Uh, so I can see I'm probably going to reload this. Yes. Okay. Oh, you're fucking kidding. I cannot mm, skip the cutscene. Okay, so we'll save it here so that I don't have to watch the cutscene every time. So, uh, <laughs> hello, and welcome back to Blood 2, The Chosen. Right now we're fighting uh, just a regular monster, I'm pretty sure. This is just an introduction to a new enemy that we're going to be finding in the game this far, I guess. Uh, so, he kind of resembles an enemy from Blood 1, which was sort of this ghost in a cloak, uh, with a scythe, skeleton thing, <laughs> and he would fly towards you, and he would only become vulnerable while attacking, which was a pretty neat, um, sort of gameplay mechanic, and this guy seems to be pretty similar. But, he doesn't seem to want to attack me at the moment for some reason. Is he dead? I think he is. Okay, so there we go. That was our introduction to that enemy. Um, so yeah, they were pretty cool in Blood 1. So we'll see how we go with them in this game. But we should be coming up pretty close to the end, I would have thought. Um, oh shit. Yeah, it's an alien. Uh, because, um, I feel like I've been in Chapter 3 for a little bit now. I probably haven't, but, uh, it's just the way when you, uh, release these videos, you know, every couple of days, uh, your actual progress in a game can seem to be lengthened, but here we go. There's a Necro Ward and a Life Seed down at the bottom of the water here, so that would have been useful in that fight, but... Now that we got it, um, I'm pretty happy with that. So, let's continue on in this gothic sort of looking uh, place. We have spiders, of course. I mean, what area would not be complete without spiders and fucking aliens? I do not even know. I feel like the aliens are kind of a staple at this point. Like, they're, they're like the uh, trademark enemy of this game. They don't like being stabbed in the face, that's for sure. <laughs> Then again, nothing really does. I don't enjoy being stabbed in the face. But there's no way I'm taking the fucking knife to one of these spiders, because it'll just attach to my face. Great, so we're going to have to do some more knifey stabby here. pretty good for ammo at the moment. Uh, we haven't had much trouble with uh, running out of ammo. So I should be able to use it a little more liberally, but the problem is uh, I don't want to waste it all in case we come across one of those uh, giant aliens that seem to be walking around with about a billion HP. I kind of want to save all my ammo for those guys, because there's not really any other way I can kill them. Now there's spiders. Oh, fuck you. It sounds like there's spiders, but that just looked like aliens to me. And if there are spiders there, I would have killed them by now with these uh, grenades. But I don't see how I didn't kill those aliens with it. God damn it. There we go, and you. 
Oh, fuck. I'm sort of cornered here, because there's aliens that way as well. If this guy would possibly die, that would be groovy. There we go. So I was talking about those, um, those monsters, that boss monster that takes so much HP. Well, I reckon we'll take the minigun to that guy and see how we go, because it does a lot of damage from the look of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, next time we meet one, I'll just unload on them. So what I was talking about last time as well is that the shot, uh, not the shotgun, the fucking sniper rifle has uh, positional damage. So shooting that guy in the foot with a sniper rifle does basically nothing. But if we shot him in the face, we'd probably almost jib him instantly. Right. So is that where I need to go? I'm a bit paranoid about things spawning behind me because they just love that in this game. Oh, here's the spiders. Got you all dealt with. Oh, great. Well, I challenge you all to a duel. I'm probably going to win. Just, <laughs> just going to throw that out there. Oh, fuck you, you actually got a hit on me. <laughs> I was a bit slow backing up. Okay, so which way do I actually have to go? I'm a bit confused now, because they always do this in this game. They don't make it clear which way is the way you need to go, and I don't want to be trapped. Oh, great, it's the stampede of the fucking... Um... Aliens here. I don't know what I'm talking about. God damn it. Fuck! There goes all my goddamn armor. And armor is somewhat of a rare commodity in this game. I kind of want to keep it as long as possible. I don't want to be wasting it on trying to knife these guys. That I could probably just as easily take out with a minigun. Um, uh, let's try this way. Oh! <laughs> That drudge lord up there, he's just uh, firing rockets like nobody's business. And what do we have here? Oh shit, the life leech. Oh, alright, this was one of the most powerful weapons in the first blood. So what can we drop for this? Probably the bug spray? Or the howitzer? No, I'm thinking the bug spray. Uh... Man, it's so, so hard, like, you'd think all of these are useful, but, yeah, the bug gun we'll get rid of. Now, the life leech. Last episode, I was talking about uh, weapons having mana rather than ammo, and this is one of those weapons. So this is a magical weapon, and its ammo will recharge, so we'll just, <laughs> just try and blast this guy with it. And as you can see in the bottom right there, our ammo recharges. And it does a lot of damage, but as you can see, for bal balancing purposes, you can't really aim it very well. <laughs> so, if you want to get... If you want to get the most out of the weapon, we're going to have to stand pretty close to what we want to kill. Uh, and obviously that's pretty dangerous with Drudge Lords, because we can't avoid their rockets fast enough. Now, where are all these spiders? Oh, they're up there. You can see them crawling around. Well, fuck them. I'm not messing with that. And I was speaking the last episode about how I replayed the first chapter of the game with a different character, and uh, I've got to say, uh, oh, howitzer shells. Lucky we didn't drop the howitzer then. Um, while I was playing through it again, I found a ton of secrets I didn't find the first time through. <laughs> so, that's my own fault. What do we have here? Just a chasm? This bridge looks perfectly safe to cross. <laughs> 
Okay, that means it isn't. So, if we walk across the bridge, we're going to plunge into that chasm. Um, yeah, that doesn't look like a good idea, though. There does seem to be a way to go down there, so let's give this a shot. Oh. <laughs> Jump on the uh, ro rope here and it just explodes. Yep, okay. Looks like we're going over the bridge. Oh, what the fuck? Huh? The fine example of typical cabal construction. Caleb, I'm dead. Fucking hell. Oh, and I'm back here. Oh, give me a sec. Hello and welcome back. <laughs> I recorded the rest of this video and it didn't have sound for some reason. So we're going back and doing it again. <laughs> so down here is a. Yep, thank you, Caleb. What we have here is a drudge priest and he is completely incapable of figuring out how to kill me while I'm standing around the corner here, so we're just going to snipe him in the guts and maybe finish him off with something else so that I don't waste all my ammo. Let's try... Oh, assault rifle ain't going to work. Can't really, uh, can't really get a shot on him, so... Oh, well, shotgun is definitely a stupid idea. Uh, the howitzer, there we go. Yeah, get some of that. Oh, now he's too far that way. Um... <laughs> oh, here we go. See, you see that animation he's doing there? That means he's nearly dead. I've realised that with some of the monsters in this game, where once their health gets down to a certain point, they start flinching more often. So what we can do is drain a monster's health and then finish it off with something that has uh, got more ammo in it or something. So, there we go. So it works the same way for these uh, aliens. So what we want to do is just drain their health a bit with the assault rifle and then trap them into using melee attacks and go to town with them, go to town on them with the knife. So there are a lot of strategies in this game. The actual gameplay itself is a lot deeper than I gave it credit for in the first couple of videos. But, um, you know, that's the sort of thing you learn. Uh, you realise that the game is hard as fuck, and then you change what you do to uh, get sort of a better... Oh, fuck. To, yeah, make an easier time of it for yourself. So we're now sort of constantly running around with 200 HP, so I've sort of figured out how the game works up until this point. Just waiting for this guy to stop shooting his fucking gun to bits. There we go. Alright, what are we going to do? Charge him with a... Oh. Where's he gone? Oh, he's shooting this thing. Oh, well... <laughs> we'll just finish you off right quick. There we go. And open up these crates. I get pretty excited over crates, honestly. Even if there's nothing in them. God damn it. Oh, here we go. Shotgun shells. Sweet. And... What are those? More shells. Well, can't pick them up. Here we go. Alright, so this will be... Uh... Oh, wait a sec. Hey, there's a life seed round here. There you go. 300 HP. So, uh, we'll go up this elevator and it'll be the next level. So, thanks for watching and next time we'll go along with the uh, Cabalco Enterprises. See you then.